Oh, dude, I'm probably going to get so much hate for this video, but it's it's honestly the truth. I have just finished about an hour's worth of Bomb Rush Cyberfunk gameplay. It is, unfortunately, the second game I've been excited for during this whole entire year. The first game I was excited for was an absolute dub. And like I said, unfortunately, I don't miss. Ah! I don't miss! I don't miss! Yo, yo, you lot, you lot. Fam, when I say everything about this game was set up to fail, and I am so glad that I was right, but also wrong at the same exact time. What I mean by this, what I mean by this is that I was, this is Bomb Rush Cyberfront, right? It's the second game. It's the second, and, and to my knowledge, the lost game that I've been, that I'm anticipating for this whole entire year. But I was excited from a very, very mean distance away. All right. So, I'm, lads. Y'all already know, I'm a picky gamer. When it comes to things, man, I just, I've been around the block way too many times. I've, I've been around, the, yo, this is about to be the best game of all time, and just get a mediocre product. I've been around the block of, yo, 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 look at this game right here. Everybody's looking forward to it. Bro, I don't care. I'm about that cash, okay? I'm about preserving my freaking dollar and making sure I'm only paying for the most premium of content. So when I first caught wind of, yeah, but I'm not that good with acronyms. Hold on, give me, give me a second. Bomb Rush Cyberfunk, BRC, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. B when I, so, <laughs> so when I first got, you know, caught wind of BRC, right? <laughs> this was like years ago. I forget, I feel like it might've been like 2017, 2018. I don't know, it was somewhere in the teens though. I was like, okay, I'll keep my eyes out for this game. And as it approached, I'm not going to lie to you. I was getting very, very scared. Like I said, everything about this game was, is, I'm going to be honest, it's set up to fail. And in the gaming, in a gaming industry where literal developers cannot understand what makes the previous product of their games good and the next installment becomes an absolute blunder i did not expect for a studio i believe the studio is indie i did not expect for one an indie studio two a studio that did not have any sort of uh background in making games like this in the past which might be a bit of a caveat because i have seen this I you're gonna have to forgive me. I don't I haven't I haven't done any research on on this topic at all. I think the team behind this is called like something reptile, team reptile maybe. I have seen their previous games because I uh, I mean they have made other games not like BCR, but with the same alt style of jet set radios, uh cartoonish cell shading feel. So I have known about them for a while, but none of their other games really... Uh, I wasn't very interested in any of their games. And then I caught wind that they're, oh, they're making a sort of like spiritual successor to Jet Set Radio. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Listen, I was excited, but I was also very reserved. Again, in an industry where developers themselves, people who, who've made their own games, made masterpieces, go on to make another game in that same series, and it's an absolute howler, I did not expect a completely different studio to even come close to making something as good as Jet Set Radio. The thing is, however, like the title suggests, it's a much needed evolution. The thing about Jet Set Radio is that, and I want to get this out of the way, I have not played Future. I, I've only played the first game. The thing about Jet Set Radio original, right, is that this game released, pff, girl, I don't even know when Jet Set Radio released the original. 
Uh, it was Dreamcast, so it must have been like 2000 or 2001. I'm going to go out on a whim and say it was 2000, so like 23 years ago. There's a lot of evolution to be made about a game that came out in 23 years ago. There's a lot of clunk in, in not-so-good gameplay aspects of the original Jet Set Radio, in my opinion. As good and as fun as the original Jet Set Radio is, because it is a rather unique game. The, you, you can't really find other games like Jet Set Radio, Jet Set Radio Future. The only other game I can think of would potentially be Tony Hawk's, the Tony Hawk series. But Tony Hawk's and Jet Set Radio are two sports games, extreme sports games, but they're two completely different fields. And I can't exactly put my put a finger on it but going back and playing um some tony hawk games specifically american wasteland for a video that is releasing in a few days from now and playing bcr <laughs> bomb rush sub listen i'm very slow lads i'm sorry I, i'm gonna have to whatever bcr right it is very they're completely two different feels and that's amazing because trust me, if they tried to make a Tony Hawk game, oh, I don't even want to think of, I, sh listen, let's not even get into that. But it is definitely a spiritual successor to Jet Set Radio. And again, I haven't played Jet Set Radio Future and I have seen a little bit of gameplay of that game and it definitely does update the, the, the clunk that is in the original Jet Set Radio game. But so I can't exactly compare Future to BCR, but I can compare Jet Set Radio 1 to BCR. And it's, it's bro, it's a much needed evolution. Holy hell, it is so, it's just so much more fluid. And keep in mind, I'm only an hour in. I'm only an hour in. The only, um... The only mode of transportation that I have is the skateboard. I did have the inline skates at first, but then I got fucking decapitated. No spoilers, but anyways, we we move. And I've been downgraded or upgraded, however you feel, to, to a skateboard. And I've been skating around the hideout just trying to hit a line out. And even though I haven't mastered this line yet, I can already tell this game is really complex. I mean, the first thing that I did when I got control of the player was I just started messing with the the move set, and and it moves like I so this is this is what Jet Set Radio kind of failed. Ah. Maybe I can compare the Tony Hawk series. So the Tony Hawk series has a sort of flow motion to it that you get into with the tricks. But Jet Set Radio and BCR, the mode of flow kind of has to do with the transition of the tricks that you have. I don't know if that really makes sense, but I'll try and say it more slower. Tony Hawk, the flow comes between... The way that you, hmm, the way that you flow together tricks, but the flow in BCR is the way that you transition between, fuck, I had something, but I, I've completely forgotten. I know what I'm trying to say, but so in the original Jet Set Radio, right, there was a, there was a flow, but it was very limited. And so to get lines and to make them feel good, you kind of had to like fight the game in your own creativity at the same time. And it just kind of made for a little mishmash of, of just complete fuckery. But in this game, right, I can already feel there is there is a learning curve, definitely, that I have not approached at all. Again, I'm only an hour into the game. But there's also something for beginners. Like myself, I'm, I'm already having so much fun just hitting this basic ass line in the hideout that, I, that I'm still completely shit at. But there's also this underlying rhythm that you have to master. But also, right? Again, listen to me. There are, there's a skateboard. There's also parkour. There's also, is it? The fuck am I? Oh my, yo, nigga, there's BMX. What the fuck? I'm for, yo, 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 yo. Listen to me, listen to me. Huh, check it, check it, right? Okay, so right now, I have the parkour, I have the skateboard, 
I, I had the inlines, but you know, the decapitation, I, we, we're not, we're skirt past that. There's also a BMX. So there's like four modes of transport in this game. And they're not like completely different. So kind of going back to Tony Hawk, American Wasteland, how there definitely is the skateboard transportation. And then there's the BMX transportation, but they're completely different. Um, they're completely different movesets. I can already tell that there's a bit of of combos that you have to remember. Uh, like there's there's this one move in the parkour section that once you hit it, what you, like you do this cartwheel and then you can jump and then you hit this move. But then there's also this like spin kick that y if you try the timing of the jump on the other move that you did with the the spin kick, it's it, it doesn't flow together because it's too early. And then so bro, I, I don't even know how to bro. Like you have to chain this shit together. Like you're playing a fighting game, and it's like, yo, that shit is crazy. There's a rhythm to the moves. That's what I'm trying to say, man. Yo, I'm actually a god. Like, on me. On me. I'm two for two. I am two for two out this bitch. And, and what's crazy, right, is because, again, I didn't know how to feel about this game. Because, again... Everything is set up for this bitch to fail. Um, at least in my opinion. Again, I've been around the block way too much with these video games, man. If these own companies can't get their own games right, there is no way in hell. I thought an indie studio was going to get this shit right. I was still hopeful. I was like, okay, it's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. But I also see this game becoming something that you can just play at any time it's just it's one of those games that you can just pop in bang out a few combos and just have fun you lot that that was also one thing that i did not really like about the original jet set radio is that there wasn't really a free skate mode and i i'm i understand that that was a thing in the the future in jet set radio future but again never played it probably never will um just free skate flow, man. I'm looking forward to this game. This seems like it's about to be a gem. Again, I'm two for fucking two. All these game, all the games that I play are fucking masterpieces. Don't at me. Don't comment. Don't disagree. I'm an absolute fucking gaming god. If you got a problem with it, suck my dick, nigga. Anyways, it's been justice. Please don't do that. I was. It was. It was. I, 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 it's been justice. I'll see you a lot later. Peace. Out.